What are you doing? I'm recording you, man. Why are you recording me? I don't know. What's that? Something we're going to do today, but we don't do the YouTube stuff no more. No. No. Stuff's lame. That's super lame. Just like your car. My car is very lame, just like his car. His car is even more lame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Finally. Two months off? Yep. Yeah. Two months? Breath of fresh air. We're relaxed. We've got videos that are coming out. Obviously, you've seen them. So, that's no surprise back there. It's not 100%. You've seen it 100%. With the new grill and the headlights and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Let's get to it, man. Silverado Sunday. What's this? What are we doing today? I got a box. Yeah, man. I got a box. I got some oil. We got some spark plugs. Because you've seen the last video we did with Remy, um, we put a new clutch in. And we may have messed some stuff up. No, we didn't mess nothing up, actually. But we are having an issue with the intake manifold runner control valves, which I have something nice from MMR. Once again, we're going to be doing the MMR block off plates on the intake manifold runner control valves. We've got a rear seat delete. We've got to get this car ready for what comes up in March there, Mr. Remy, that you're not going to be able to go through, which really Man. sucks. I hate it. But Mopars in the Mountains? or Is that the right one? Yes, Mopars in the Mountains. We're going to Mopars in the Mountain. Wait, no, that's not right. No, that's not right. That's not the right one. I'd go oh, to that one. Ponies in the Smokies. No. Yeah, Ponies in the Smokies. 2023. We're going to be rolling deep this year, which is different it's usually just me you and no you're not Benjamin. you're not gonna have me and sam yeah, I know. ain't nothing deep about you oh, oh what? <laughs> or you boy hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah man <laughs> <laughs> welcome back guys so i think we needed the break to be honest yeah man it was uh try to juggle work life and having to deal with him every day gets to kind of wear on you. So, yeah, what? But you're a pain in my neck. Everybody knows that. Nah. Uh, <laughs> so it's good being back. I'm, I'm glad to be back behind the camera. I don't know about you. Well, in front of the camera, you're behind the camera. My arms are hurting, man. <laughs> it's been two months. Really, bro? And hey, we're not even on the GoPro. I know. Normally, we just put it on the stand. Yeah. We may break it out. I don't know. I don't know if the batteries are even charged. It's probably dead. Yeah. So we're going to get started on this thing. Rumi's also got, um, we're going to change the, the map the map lights. Yeah. The LEDs. Yeah, no, I'm, we were talking about this a minute ago. The map lights, yeah, really, the seriously. Map, map, map light. lights. I need to turn my lights on to turn my GPS on on my radio. Yeah, man. I mean. Simple as that. 2023. Yeah, hey. Hey. Or it's great, even though this is a 20 model, but still. Uh, so you're going to be getting a lot of Mustang videos here off of Cliffy because we got to get him ready for pits. That one's not going to go. We hadn't touched it in months. Flat tire. Looks terrible. Guys, if you want, pop a Smurf. I'll sell it to you right now for $10,000. Make that fifteen because the MMR block I want is 15000 Somebody probably pay you. Yeah, somebody probably would. No, Papa Smurf's not going nowhere. We have decided on what we're going to do. Don't say nothing. We'll break that out here pretty soon. I ain't going to say nothing here. No. We got a Toyota we're going to be working on. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, we got your truck. We're going to be doing some crazy stuff. Yeah, finally a reliable car. Hope it fits. Not that. I hope it gets out. It'll fit in. I'm just worried about it going back out. Hey, hold on now. And then. Better watch out with that talk. We still got that one we got to work on. We got that one we got to work on. And we got that one we got to work on. We got all this stuff in the back back here. We got a bunch of stuff, man. That we've got to fix. And we got to clean the shop again. It's all Remy's fault. Yeah. There's my shop's trash. So, guys, grab your favorite drink. Get your favorite beverage. Let's get into it, man. Sit down. Relax. We're going to change some sparkulators. Yeah, man. It's going to be a five-minute video. It's already been five minutes. <laughs> Uh, well, in that case, guys, 
We love you. We'll see you next time. And remember, now let's get into this. All right, guys. So real quick, tabs right here. Push in. Remy's got his. You got it. Yep. Pull up. And then we're gonna rotate yeah. this yeah. out. Pull towards you. And then this is where the fun part begins. We need a socket, or actually a wrench. You know, that feels like a 16. We're gonna leave these in here. All right, guys, so right here are two 15 mil, 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 millimeter bolts, if I could say that correctly. Yeah, right. There's another one on that side. Then there's one here. But this is what we got to do to get that. I'm going to hand this stuff out to Jake because we decided to go ahead and pull the seat belts too. The, the buckles. He's at 15 in there. So now what we're going to do. So these are 12 millimeter. Or 13, excuse me. 13 millimeter if you want to pull the seat belts out. Uh, we decided to pull it out. Just, just be on the safe side to keep it from rattling. We are now going to pull these down. Grab yours over there, right? Yeah. So it sounds like just, it's going to fall apart. So we're going to get this one 15 out. We're going to reuse that one bolt for the new seat, uh, the, the actual delete. All right, so this fun, this part's fun. We're going to physically lift up on the seat, and I'm trying to find here. Hold on to that for me. Camera. Oh, the camera. Two bows just handed to me. We're gonna pull these apart. They come apart just like that. We're gonna slide that back to Jacob. And then your rear, rear seat is out. Now we went with the EMP rear seat delete. It's super easy. Like I said, we're gonna reuse this one one nut here so we're gonna or one bolt so we're gonna put it there the back will go on first and we're gonna use these to hold the back in, in place so give us just a sec while we unbox and we'll be right back all right guys so here's the rear seat delete it goes in perfect you take your little tabs here slide them in and just oh i'm not even getting the view of it here slide them in and then twist them up. Thank you, Jacob. Jacob was trying to reach in. Try to center them up as much as you can. Mm. Yeah, just use this tension. Yep. Did the smooth part go up or down? Down. Down. Yeah, I'll put it down. And now. We're ready for the back, the or bottom. the bottom, excuse me. Yeah, we're ready for the bottom up. to cover this up. And of course, you got, once again, like I said, we're gonna reuse this bolt here, but then you also have these bolts that are Torx bit driven that are gonna go here. And then we have some wing nuts with some screws that are gonna go here and here where the tab actually set for the rear seat. Oh, Get it. let's do it. All right, this is the fun part because now we got to get this up and underneath it. So come in at an angle. Oh, we're hung on the carpet there. There we go. There it is. Centered up. Come on, Wason. Actually, we're looking somewhat decent. Did you just gonna sit right here? Yep. I think it's the only way to take the seat belts out or to cut them, and I'm not cutting my seat belts because you never know. We may go back with a. Rear seat at some point. Mm -hmm. So, 
get all this centered back up a little bit better and show you the end product. So there's the finished product. Rear seat delete is in. It's kind of a pain in the butt. These little wing nuts, man, they weren't that hard to get. You have some issues with those on both corners. And then the 115 and then the one push pin. But the end product is nice. Lord. Looks so much better. Especially with the new map lights Yeah, with the new map lights that are currently off. Huh. Yeah, so there we go. Rear seat deletes in. Now to get all, everything covered up, put away, and uh, on to under the hood. Yeah, man. Because we got multiple things like new coyote badge because mine is trashed. Uh, the company that makes these, they're, they're on eBay. But they're pretty good quality. They're awesome quality. I mean, that one's been on there for two years. It's messed up from just driving rock the highway, chips. rock yeah. chips, salt, and all that kind of yeah. stuff. It, if this was a round town car like it is now, it would have never been damaged. I mean, a factory badge would be destroyed by now, too. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, look at the front end of the car. Look yeah. at the roof of the car. Yeah. A bunch this, of paint, paint chips everywhere. Yeah. I mean, this thing needs to go get painted. Yep. I mean, the whole car front and back. So, this one is ruby red, not rapid red. It's like Oscar's car. You also get to see it in... Uh, Pits videos. Pits videos, yeah. Like I said, we're rolling deep. We were at, we're we're gonna have a special edition car too. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we'll definitely get some good footage of that. Just for you, son, since you ain't gonna be able to go. Nah, I'll be alright. Yeah, I mean the big trip's two weeks after that, so Yeah. No love it. My company's gonna hate me. Oh well. Be off for a week, go back work Monday through Friday. Leave for PCB on Saturday. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, I guess we're going to keep working. We got to get this intake mode hold off now. Let's get it done, man. We may do this first. I'm not going to video this at all because we want to see this go back in history. Two years ago, we put the black and red one on here. They're a pain in the butt. That's all I'm going to say. I don't even know if we have a socket for this anymore. Oh, well, let's we'll, get to it. We'll figure it out. Just keep watching, guys. It just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, man. All right, guys. So, I've been working like crazy. Forgot to record this. So, basically, you want to take your heater, core hoses off, all your EVAP lines. I got to get the cold air off of here. And then, this is all loose. The injector rails are loose. I'm about to pull this up, flip this over to the side. Then I can take my intake manifold bolts out. Once I get those out, the intake will come out. This is the crap we're getting rid of here. Oh, and Coyote badge turned out good, but one little issue, we had to take the front bumper off. Remy was trying to get his hand back there to uh, put the plate on and he dropped it. No big deal because I dropped the old one down there too so it made it a little bit easier for me to get the old one out because it fell. Unfortunately the guys are left this is the next day. I'm here by myself. Well I'm not by myself totally. I got Spritz out there coughing. All the other dogs are here. I'm trying to hurry up and get this off and back on probably been working on 30 minutes total so we'll just keep rolling i'll throw you on some uh hyperlapse here time lapse it so y'all can see what happens
to tell you about. That was a pain in the butt to get out. There's the top of a coyote. What a nightmare. Now we get to pull all this junk off right here. Off the back. Those two big solenoids are the runners. The runner control valves. We gotta make sure they're wide open. Put the block all in. Alright, since the dogs are in the back now, I just gotta take these solenoids off. Get all this junk off of here. And then we'll put the runner control valve block off plates on. Put the intake manifold back on. Put everything back together. Reverse our steps and then put the skid plate back on. Um, gotta put that skid plate back on, back up underneath the bumper. Change the plugs and oil. Let's get back to it. All right, guys, here's where this gets a little precise. Reach your finger up in the manifold. You can feel all the way up is going to be closed. All the way down is open. These only go on one way. And you don't really have to worry about anything down here. Get your screw set back in. And did the same thing on the other side. I can tell you this up right here, up is going to be uh, completely closed, down is all the way open. That's where we want this to be is open. There we go. We get our screw in. Let me just tighten this all back up. Now, those are not going to go anywhere. They're wide open. No more causing limp mode and all the other junk that comes along with it. Uh, I've been having issues since we put the new clutch in. Anything in drag mode, track mode, you really get into it, it starts choking up. And, you know, it's, it's sad that we have to do this. Now there is one little thing. There is this one vacuum port. Now I watched Xander 13 install his cheap version of this with the zip ties, which is pretty cool. I kind of wish I would have saw his video first, but I am kind of an MMR geek. So I said, forget it. We'll just run the MMR ones. Um, because I'd already purchased them, so I might as well just go ahead and use them. But he said not to worry about it. I mean, there's, I don't, I think all that, that whole system was just kind of built in together. I am going to get some vacuum caps put on here. Um, probably do it tomorrow just to kind of clean it up, make it look good. I don't want to leave this open. Just be on the safe side, 
But I can tell you this, this does look really good. This one side don't look like it's all the way in, but it ain't gonna come loose, that's for sure. That thing is, it is in there. So now we just have to reverse our steps, put the intake manifold back on. Guess I'll throw you back in time lapse and get these injectors reseated and everything else and get this car back up and running. Um, I got more work to do to it. Stuff that I'm not gonna show here today um, or on this video. I'm just doing plugs in an oil change. So I guess I'll give you all the finished product once we get it running because I do need to data log it. I do need to get the tune sent up or the data log sent over to VMP for my tune. And uh, go from there, man. Was, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to get this car going, get it ready for pits. You know, it's been sick for a while. For the most part. I mean, it was good once we put the clutch in. We did some extra modifications that we probably shouldn't have. But without a tune, you know, it's been kind of choking us up. But. I think we fixed it all get the get the tune in it and keep on moving so just keep watching guys it's time for another time lapse video <laughs> Now the scary part starting it back up everything's put back together and I don't know how this thing's gonna act with this these runners being deleted or being wide open like they are I guess we're about to find out uh, hope there's no leaks on the fuel that kind of stuff I'll keep the light up here so I won't start it until we uh, we make sure there's no leaks but it looks a lot better. And I'm gonna check that that one spot to see if it if it leaks. If it's pulling vacuum, then that would cause a vacuum leak, so we'd have to block it off. But we're gonna check it, so we'll see how this works. Alright, I guess I'm gonna set y'all up back here. It's time. Time for another cold start. Oh, also, if you're wearing earphones, you may want to take them out. Just a fair warning. Yes, you do have to cap that off. 
and I don't have anything in it. So, I guess I'll be buying some vacuum caps tomorrow. Hopefully that'll do away with this because it's going to cause the car to run super rich. Now with it running pig rich, it's not good. So, it's even more rich than what it was yesterday. Always good to remove rags too. So, I guess that's going to be it for now. We got the rear seat to lead in, the IMRCs on, the block off plates. I'm going to put the skid plate back in. And then uh, we'll get doing um, the oil change of plugs probably Wednesday. Today's Monday. I'm going to go up here, wash my hands, have dinner with my beautiful wife, enjoy the evening. So with that being said, guys, it's been a long time since I said this. And I want y'all to remember this because it's true to me. Please keep your head up. No matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it seems like it's going to be, keep pushing forward. Don't let nothing hold you back. Nothing. Not your job, not your friends, not your family. You fight for what you want and find somebody that believes in you and that may be your family may be your friends I know my family my friends and my beautiful wife both of my beautiful children they they believe in me so that being said you guys we love you we'll see you next time dream big dream really big see ya